okay yeah guys you're welcome to my youtube channel this is Koye Phillips and today I want to get right to the point of the video as soon as possible so I'm going to be showing you how to generate automatically a Prisma flowchart for your systematic literature review and you know uh, if, if you are undertaking uh, a master's level dissertation or a PhD level dissertation and for your methodology you are using systematic literature review part of that methodology in fact a very very essential part of that methodology is a, a prisma flowchart you need to uh, show your 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 you need to show your your work how you were able to uh you know select and deselect and refine your searches up to the uh you know to, to, to the to the few studies that you have included in your in your study in your scoping review or your systematic literature review so uh, a lot of people you know kind of kind of stress over creating the prisma flow chart you know they want to do it automatically and in fact it can be a very cumbersome process if you are trying to do it manually but there is a way to automate it and this is what i'm going to be showing you in this video so uh, how can you actually automatically generate a prisma graph for your research this is going to be useful for people who are master's students or PhD student, or you know, if, if you want to have a journal publication and you're going to use uh, a systematic literature review methodology, this is going to be working for you. So quickly, uh, just follow through what I'm going to be showing you. Okay, so I want you to go to your launch your browser, you know, preferably Chrome or Adobe. I mean, I mean, Mozilla Firefox. Yeah. So just launch it and come to. You can see my address bar. I have es. ESTC that's estec dot shiny hubs dot io come to this address slash prisma underscore flow diagram uh forward slash this okay I've just highlighted it for you so come to this uh come to this address and you're gonna to come to this page so what you need to do now is on the top bar here you can see Prisma flow diagram, home, create flow diagram, privacy and impact. So what you want to click on is the third one here, create flow diagram. And so it's going to bring you to the page where you create your Prisma flow diagram. So you can see this is a, this is a template. This is going to look like this is a Prisma flow diagram. So what you need to do is just uh, input your numbers appropriately here. So do you have a previous study included or do you have any previous studies included? If you have included, then you can put included. If not, keep it at non included. Uh, uh, individual databases. Do you want to include in the individual databases? Uh, let's say you you are you're working on uh, uh, the prevalence of ischemic stroke in uh, adults in the American population. So you're going to be checking different databases for sources. You're going to be checking, uh, say, PubMed. You're going to be checking uh, Taylor and Francis online. You might be checking uh, uh, Elsevier and other databases. So if you want to include all of them, one after the other, you can you know, put included. You're going to have different databases here. And uh, if not, you can keep it at not included. So do you want to include individual registers or not? You decide that. And if you want to reset this button here, is what you use to reset everything that you are you know, putting in there. So you can begin to input your numbers here. So database, how many sources were you able to locate from the databases? So if I put 100 here, you can see it's going to be reflected here. You can see. So everything I put on the, on the left-hand side will be reflected on the right-hand side. And this is how you generate a Prisma flow diagram or we call it a prisma flow chart for yourself easily automatically without having to uh, you know uh, do it manually and go through the cumbersome process of doing it so this is very easy after doing what you need to do you can uh, download it as a, as a pdf or as a png or, or as an svg file interactive html or whatever whatever uh, format that you want to download it as you can do that easily so this is uh, how my friends you generate automatically a prisma flowchart 
uh, for your systematic literature review or a scoping review uh, in as easy as in a easy in, in, in a very easy way and uh, within two minutes you're done with this and I use this all of the time for my for my project and you know, I just said let me create this to help people out there who actually need to do it so this is the end of the video thank you for watching my name is Corey Phillips and I'm happy to help you